Hi, what you're looking at is a two-pipe steam radiator, which is uh, built in to a cabinet. Um, this particular system uh, is the vapor vacuum system of Philadelphia, otherwise known as a Crybell system. Um, you would adjust the amount of steam and, or excuse me, vapor entering the uh, radiator. So most of the steam would be condensed by the time it got to the end. Now, there is a radiator L, and that's where the problem lies. A lot of these companies had little bits of stuff and things which they could patent and uh, in order to uh, gain some market share. Uh, so this is out of Philly. This is being filmed in, in Baltimore. And so Crybell is down here. I don't know about your particular area. This is your typical radiator L for hot water system. This is a, a new old stock. You can see, you can tell by the fact it's been nickel plated. And what the problem was is this would stop heating. And the only way to really get it to heat was to hit that L. And the reason why water would be backing up in the system because inside of the L between the union nut and the uh, 90 there was this, well, I think they call it a baffler or buffler or whatever. The idea was if steam was on the wrong side of the system, this would prevent it from going back up into the radiator the wrong way, but uh, water was supposedly allowed to pass. But this would get stuck. You can see it's fairly small. The seal was be between here and here. You can tell by the shiny metal. Um, so fortunately, I, I had to do a little bit of uh, wood remover so I could pull that to the side, uh, extract the offending part, and uh, put it back together. There was a chance that it would leak, uh, not seal up properly, but it appears to be not the case. I was able to... Uh, uh, tighten that up enough so and I got some uh, paper there telltale paper uh, for if it does happen to start to leak so that's what you could see uh, in some of these uh, uh, in these old uh, two pipe steam systems uh, the L might have stuff in it uh, hiding uh, and and can cause you trouble so Thanks again for your support. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.